in listen only mode. Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Discover More About Basing, Basic Plumbing Service Skills Water Supply 2E webinar. I'm Emma Thomas and with me today is Andrew Brock, Senior Acquisitions Editor for this title. Hopefully today we're going to answer all of your questions throughout this webinar, however if you do have a question please submit it to us and we'll loop back at the end to answer any remaining questions. Today Andrew is going to take us through who Basic Plumbing Services Skills Water Supply 2E is suitable for, what you're going to love about this new addition, so some of the new features, time to get technical, so understanding the technology options that now come with it, how to save time, so some of the teaching resources that are available to you, and how you can get your hands on a copy. I'll now hand over to Andrew. Thanks Emma. The new addition of Basic Plumbing Services Skill Water Supply builds on the fundamental skills and knowledge which was introduced in the first edition of this book. It's been completely updated to address current industry practices and nine common and water stream competencies which are in the Construction, Plumbing and Services Skills Training Package, which is CPC 08. Basic Plumbing Services Skills Water Supply is part of an integrated series of plumbing resources which addresses the four core plumbing streams in the Certificate 3 in Plumbing which is the latest version of the course is CPC 32411. Now these other resources include Basic Plumbing Services Skills which addresses the common stream of competencies, Basic Plumbing Services Skills Sanitary Drainage, and Basic Plumbing Services Skills Gas Services, that's the revised edition, it's been written to the latest version of the Australian Standard, though I should note that we also have uh, the unrevised version which was written to the previous version of the standard which is relevant I know particularly in Victoria so we have both versions there and our plans for the future is uh, basic plumbing services skills roof plumbing which is going to address the roof plumbing competencies uh, which are part of that same certificate three in plumbing course. Now the cohesive nature of these resources ensures there's minimal content overlap and an easy transition through those four core streams your students as they complete their qualification. Now to aid RTO delivery, each chapter addresses one competency. A new chapter has been added to this latest edition of Basic Plumbing Services Skills Water Supply, that's Chapter 9. It's called Connect and Install Storage Tanks to a Domestic Water Supply and it addresses the new competency in the course which is the water stream competency connect and install storage tanks to a domestic water supply. Now this is a really important change. It's relating to the move to incorporate sustainability into the training package. And this, comp this competency excuse me, was added to the just released and latest version of the Certificate 3 in Plumbing I mentioned earlier, which is CPC 32411. Now the new edition also has a full colour text design, so it now matches the other three titles in the series which also have a full colour text design. Key features of this new edition include updated key terms linked to an end of text glossary to reinforce key concepts, removable assessment worksheets so students can hand in revision assignments. The new edition also contains more than 170 full colour technically up-to-date photographs and illustrations which as you can see in those example pages really enhance the student understanding of key concepts and processes. Now basic plumbing services skills water supply will also include a Pearson e-text and I'll now take you through some of the more pertinent features of this. I've used the basic plumbing services skills e-text which is as you know the first book in the series of four which addresses those common stream competencies as an example for the water supply e-text and what that will look like. Now the first question you may have is what is the e-text? Well it's a product with great functionality and is designed to aid your teaching and learning and quickly move you into flexible and online delivery. Now first it's basically a customizable online version of the textbook. It's also browser based and what I mean by that is that the e-text is viewed while online. This means that all of your personalization available are available whenever you log in and you can log in from any computer. Now it has the same page layout as the printed text 
So you and your students can use either e-text, the printed text, text or both in different situations. The e-text can also be used in the classroom, run through a data projector for example, or it can be run through a smart board as it has a smart board function as well and this allows for certain areas of the text, e.g. particular question, particular figure, particular photograph to be highlighted and discussed. Now making highlights as you are working through the text is a feature that's both useful for students and teachers. This provides visual ease when one returns to the content and you can identify where important pieces of information are found. Highlights can be done in different colours. Now this enables you to, to know what each highlight means. For example, it's important for an exam can be one colour, it's a useful example can be another one, it's a key glossary term could be a, a further one. Now notes can also be added to the highlighted content to make for better learning. Now these notes can be very easily retrieved as you can see from the left hand navigation bar. Now how can the e-text be individualised for you and your class? Now with those notes I mentioned earlier you can choose to make them hidden, for example students don't see them, or, sh or shared so students can. Now you can create a hyperlink in a note and this enables you to link out to additional information, additional underpinning knowledge, which could be videos, useful websites or indeed readings. Now to find all of your notes and highlights, you can go to the Notes Manager, which is in the left hand navigation sidebar. Now another important feature is the search feature. This is a really useful one. It's a big saver in contrast to the hard copy text as it allows a faster, more effective search of pertinent content. The search functionality allows you to limit your search to specific regions, provides helpful page preview when searching, your search history is also saved for you, and you can also sort by relevance or chapter or also limit the search to a section of the book. Now another important issue to address is how can the e-text be individualised for you and indeed for your class. Now you can start by creating a course via the settings and create new course tabs. Once you've created a course you can then go back to the settings, customise e-text and to review and you can edit the table of contents. You can hide particular chapters or sections and you can change the order. This is really useful if you choose to deliver the content in a specific way and can choose to change the chapter order or hide content and reveal it as you proceed through the class. This gives you control as a teacher on managing your lesson with exactly what your students will be seeing. A key feature of the e-text which is really specific to these plumbing books is that those end of chapter worksheets that you use for summative assessment are available in the e-text as editable PDF versions of, the end of, the, of those same worksheets. Now this allows your students to complete and submit formative assessment electronically. Now for more information on the e-text and its functionality, just visit the URL that you can see on the screen now. Now an additional way to save time for you as a lecturer is the resources that we supply with the, with the book and these are available within the educator version of the e-text. Now broadly speaking these are solutions to the end of chapter worksheet questions, PowerPoint slides and a comprehensive full colour image bank of all figures and photographs within the chapters and there's also a comprehensive mapping grid. Now going through each of those in a bit more detail, the instructor resource includes more than 150 PowerPoint slides across the nine chapters of the book and this can really help your aid lecture, really help your aid delivery and promote student discussion. Now these are fully customizable so you can use them as is or you can choose to add your own content, your own figures, your own photographs and uh, tailor them more to the way you like to deliver. Also for the instructor, Solutions are provided for all end of chapter worksheet questions. You can see them up there on screen now, which really allows for easy marking. 
the next I guess instructor resource that we have as part of the package which is in the educa educator view of the e-text is a, a full image library. Uh, it's easily accessible, it's a comprehensive image bank of all figures and tables within the text and is available as I mentioned in the educator view of the e-text. Now this can be used for both online and classroom delivery. Look, we also wanted to mention the mapping grid because I think this is a key feature for helping you deliver the relevant competencies for this title. Now, as you can see on screen, the mapping grid is broken down by competency and we've mapped each chapter to the relevant competency and to the relevant elements. And those elements are then mapped to the underpinning knowledge and the assessment within the chapter. So it really provides a ready-made lesson plan for you. Okay, great. Thank you, Andrew, for showing us the features of this new edition. Uh, we have some questions that have come in, and the first one is, how can the e-text be used to deliver assessment online? Uh, thanks for that, Emma. The question, uh, the e-text can be used to deliver assessment online by using those worksheets that I mentioned earlier. Now, they're editable PDF files. They sit as a zip file within the left-hand navigation bar of the e-text in one of the, what we call, baskets, or or folders and then they can be downloaded by the lecturer or the student to their device. They can, can be completed electronically and then they can be emailed through to the lecturer by the student. So in that way you've got you know genuine flexible online assessment. Great, thanks Andrew. Um, we've got another question. How will this new edition help to deliver the updated plumbing qualification? With the qualification, there's, there's a few ways that we've done that. The first is we've updated all of the content in the book to the latest version of the training package that I mentioned earlier. Each chapter addresses one competency. So you can teach your, the competencies in isolation by going to the relevant chapter within the book. They've been structured in the book in a holistic way. So you literally work through from the beginning of the chapter to the end then complete the worksheet questions which gives you, if you like, your summative assessment or you can choose, of course, to use your own summative assessment. And finally, we've included the new chapter, Chapter 9, Connect and Install Storage Tanks to a Domestic Water Supply, which has been included to address the new water competency which was included in the latest version of the uh, Certificate 3 in Plumbing. Okay, well that's the end of our questions. So if you would like to request a sample copy or if you have any further questions, you can contact your education consultant or the VET hotline. Alternatively, you can visit us at the website at www.pearson.com.au slash VET for more information. Thank you very much for your time today.